What's up, everybody? It's your girl, who is, in fact, Dad Aspie. And I don't really have much to talk about this week, to be completely honest. My executive functioning skills have not exactly been the best this week, due to, like, a little bit of behind-the-scenes work, working, kind of being tired from Renaissance Fair rehearsals. As much fun as I am having with that, I'm having a goddamn blast. But it is a little exhausting when you have to wake up at 6 a.m. to work with children after coming back from that. So, yeah. And speaking of uh, working with children, I one thing I did consider talking about was, well, what is my survival job? And by survival job, I mean the thing that pays my bills at the moment while I am working on this and my acting career and, you know, other stuff like that. I'm considering going into detail about that sometime, but I'm not sure if I really want to at the moment. Um, honestly, finding the motivation to do things this week has not been the easiest, but the idea of leaving you guys with nothing is also not so great, so I wanted to give you something. And also, there is one other video that I would really love to do sometime, but I'm just waiting for the proper materials to do that, and I'm waiting to hear back from somebody that's helping me out with this, so hopefully that will be uh, very, very soon, and I'm really excited to do that. I've been looking forward to this for a while. And in case you have no idea what I'm talking about when I say executive functioning, basically, it's that thing that's inside of you, that motivation to do simple everyday tasks, like brushing your teeth, taking a shower, making food, going to get food, cleaning the garbage, or cleaning the sink, or uh, doing laundry, and stuff like that. And most people could do those things relatively easily, don't have a problem with that at all. However, there are some people who struggle with things like that because of, uh, mental health reasons that affect motivation and stuff like that, that, and it makes doing the simple tasks kind of difficult sometimes, and we feel like shit because we can't do those things, but it's supposedly such an easy task to do. And I know that for myself, like, the hardest part for me, usually with projects and other stuff, like even everyday stuff, is getting started. Once I get started, I'm pretty good at continuing this, and I can keep that momentum going for a little bit. But the starting part, that's a touch and go, whether or not I'm able to do that. Sometimes it takes me a little time, sometimes I have to kind of push myself a little bit more, but I do eventually get stuff done, so that's a good thing, I guess. It's just not always in the ideal time that I would have liked to have done it. And yeah, it's not a very comfortable feeling. Besides that, um, I'm waiting for uh, GamerXE's tickets to become available because I know that's possibly going to come up in November. And I'm super excited about that. And as far as future convention plans, I would love to go to PAX East someday. I've never been to PAX East, and my brother goes there almost every year. I'd like to try it because it looks like a lot of fun. And I might get to meet some people that I like there, so, you know. And I would really love to go to IMATS again someday. In case you don't know what that is, that's a makeup convention for beauty and special effects stuff, and it's in various parts of the country and the world. And I went, like, a couple of years ago, I think, and I really liked it. It was cool. So I would like to go back there sometime. And even at GamerX uh, in California, I think it was GamerX 3, I was a panelist there once upon a time, back when I was working on a web series that unfortunately discontinued due to uh, creative differences, I guess is the best way to put it between uh, different members of the cast and other stuff like that, like some behind the scenes stuff. I would have loved to have continued it, but uh, apparently that was not going to be a thing, which is a bummer because it's very well written material and I liked it. So, you know. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss of what else to talk about at the moment and I didn't want to leave you guys with nothing, so at least there's me here, you know I'm alive, I'm, I'm breathing, I'm here, and yeah, I'll hopefully have something better for next week, um, I am kind of at a loss, this is going to be short, sweet, and to the point, uh, but I wanted to keep you guys on the, um, page of me being alive and functional, so, yay, and yeah, I guess that's about it, but otherwise, thank you guys for tuning in, if you liked it, my name is Laura, and I am Dad Aspie. If you didn't like this, I'm Jenna Marbles, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!